Hi, my name is Sachi. My team and I have created Telpark, an app that makes finding parking faster and easier. Through our app, simply input your destination and we'll direct you to the nearest available parking meter. Thanks to our connection with the Boston Transportation Department, we already have access to the city's meter inventory. And soon, we'll get access to their live transactional data, allowing us to direct you to real-time available spots. Hey, I'm Sai, and I'll walk you through how a user uses Telpark to find parking. Firstly, they'll input their desired destination in our app. In this case, he wants to go to Chipotle. Once our user inputs their destination in our app, Telpark locates nearby meters and labels them as green or red. Green, green meaning that they're vacant, red meaning that they're occupied. Once the user reaches their destination, they can use Telpark to swiftly pay for, for their parking for their desired amount of time. Uh, I need to leave early. I wish there was a way to get back the parking time that I already paid for. With Telpark, you can notify other drivers in the area of this new availability. Plus, you gain points that you can use towards free parking with Telpark. It's a win-win for everyone. I'm Aruti, and I'm going to show you the code behind our app. The UI of Telpark is built with Flutter. The main function launched the app, which loads a map interface where users can search for a parking location. In this block, navigation is handled by timers, moving the car on the map. Once the destination is reached, a payment prompt appears. The car takes different magnitudes of steps based on if it's driving, turning, or parking. The Parking Zone class defines parking spots, tracking their position and availability. The Map Painter class visually renders the parking zones and the car on a map with real-time updates. It paints the parking spots in green or red based on availability and rotates the car to simulate movement. In the Parking Payment screen, users can pay for parking, extend time, or leave early, earning points for unused time. It also features a countdown for parking time left and updates based on user actions. Users also have access to an account page, displaying user info such as name and car model, and a points page where users can redeem parking rewards with their points. The points page offers redemption options for free parking based on point availability, updating the user's balance and status dynamically. Redeem functions can handle user actions with, with feedback provided through snack bars. In the future, we hope to integrate live data through a backend system with an algorithm so that our app can, use, can be used by hundreds across Boston and improve the UI through more iterations, such as adding a Google Maps API like in this example. I am Pika, and Telepark is not just about convenience, it's about reducing stress and traffic in the city. With fewer cars circling for parking, we'll have reduced congestion, reduced emissions, and a more enjoyable experience for everyone. Welcome, Welcome to, to Telepark! Telepark.